All right, time to get to the elephant in the room here, Jamie. And uh, I, I know you're probably pretty limited in what you can tell us, but tell us what you can about uh, Big 12 expansion. See, I thought you were, you were baiting me there. You were going <laughs> to say some other topic. like No. That's... Like, yeah. You know, there's not much I can really say. You know, we, uh, um, as I told our coaches Friday night, um, we were asked to give our word that we wouldn't talk about what was going on. Um, and I gave my word. And so my word is my word. And I can still say I kept my word. But um, safe to say, you know, what's been reported by um, certain members of the media, you know, um, you know, uh, Pete Thamel, I think, has got it pretty well wired because he must be talking to somebody that didn't keep their word. <laughs> so um, I'll just say that it's it's exciting for Iowa State because there was just a lot of uh, uncertainty. And, um, you know, there's clearly going to be some uncertainty in how we put this puzzle all together. But um, the players that will be on, you know, in the game playing to put the puzzle together um, have come together a lot quicker than I could have ever imagined. And so I give a ton of credit to Commissioner Bowlesby because he worked um, like a coaching search, you know, stealth um, behind the scenes. And, you know, we're not we're not to the finish line yet, but yeah. um, things have moved really, really quickly. And so uh, uh, I'm excited for that because, you know, it bothered me tremendously, you know, one, just that that happened, mm -hmm. but it had, you know, it happened in a time period that Iowa State really, you know, there's a lot of really good things happening here right now. And it felt like somebody rained on our parade. And, but at the same time, if somebody was going to rain on our parade, I'm glad we've got the parade we have right now <laughs> versus a, a parade maybe we would have had years <laughs> ago because I think we're still going to put our best foot forward for whatever the, you know, whatever the future is going to be. But I will say this. What really excites me um, is I think that in, you could make a really strong argument that in football from top to bottom we'll be more competitive and, um, you know, one team will be stay unnamed, currently a member of the Big 12, who's only won two, you know, football championships in their whole time in the Big 12. So, you know, not, a, not the, you know, the record that they seem to think they are. But, um, you know, some of those programs have really storied football tradition, and some of them have been really good over the last several years. And then if you flip it over and look at basketball, you go, my gosh, basketball you know, probably got three times harder. Yeah. So, um I think that's really exciting for our, for Iowa State. Oh, it is. So but. looking so looking at the changes, I, I, one of the as a as we see things changes, it went from you, you know fan bases, then it went to TVs, and then it's going to streaming, and then what's next in that <laughs> world? Like where are we going right now? When you, it went from TVs, where I think this happened with the Big Ten, and that, TVs were the big part. Now I feel like it's some streaming service is going to own this media someday is is that becoming the the, the driving force behind this you know it's I mean, everyone likes to project that that's going to be i i think that um it's probably going to be a combination i don't i don't think the world is ready to be you know all in streaming i don't think the streaming entities have figured out how to monetize it at a level that's you know, that can pay all the bills yet either. So, you know, even though linear is going down, I mean, linear is still 70 million homes, you know, with a, a pretty good at monthly rate. I and mean, it's pretty dang good annuity, right? Yeah. And so that's not just going to go away overnight, but it's, you know, at some point there's this intersection where, you know, streaming will then, you know, be ahead of linear. The problem right now is just, you know, who, who can get in the game, right? Mm -hmm. And ESPN pretty much has monopolized the game. And, um, that's shunned some people out of the market a little bit. And, you know, I, our hope is when we get to market here in 25, 26, you know, that's another reason I'm glad this moved quicker than later. We'll be solidified. You know, we're going to be sustaining and we'll be in a position to capitalize on whatever is there. And what I've said to people in recent weeks is all this uncertainty was flowing and, and everybody was kind of going <laughs> a little nutty about it is, look, everything we can control is in great shape. Yep. When you talk about facilities, football program, football coach, you, Dr. Winterstein, um, academics, everything that I was taking control is in great, great shape. Stuff you can't control is where your campus is. You can't pick it up and move it to right. Houston, you know. So <laughs> we're, we're in Ames, Iowa. That's who we are, and we're proud of that. We want we wouldn't want to be anywhere else. But but all these stuff that you can control is in great great shape. Well, you know, Ryan mentioned it. You know, it's the last go around in 2012. It was all about television households because it was a linear world. 
completely, right? And, um, you know, we were more on the short end of that stick, right? But if you would have told me in 2012 when we were going through all that, that the next seven, eight years were going to be the most robust years of right. Cyclone Athletics ever, both financially, competitively, facility-wise, you know, people probably would have said, no yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, go home, Pollard. Right. <laughs> you know, you're dreaming. And that's happened. Right. Yeah. And yet in 2012, we were staring at that cliff, almost getting ready to get pushed off. So, you know what, as I said at our all our staff meeting, I can't I'm not a prophet. I can't tell you what's going to look like seven years from now. Right. It could be we seven years from now, we may be going. That was the best thing that ever happened to us in 2021. You know, it got us out from underneath the. You know, the um, you don't have to say it. Yeah. Yeah. Got us off underneath. The, yeah. Whatever you want to call it. I won't stop right? you right there. So, um, you know, and who knows now, seven years from now, we may look at it and go, oh, you know, that didn't turn out the way we thought. Who knows? But, you know, I'm just glad that there's a blueprint now to go forward. Yeah. And, um, you know, I would say today expansion is more about circumstances because, I mean, you could make the argument that, um, you know, there's some schools in some of those leagues that, quote, are on the good side of things right now that, you know, couldn't hold the water of anybody. And, you know, there's some teams in our league that you'd go, really? That team's football program yeah. isn't even, you know, and, and it was just circumstances, right? Yeah. So, um, and likewise, the teams that are come into our league now, you know, it was only circumstances that kept them on the other side of the wall, mm -hmm. so to speak, before, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, and so, uh, you know, I'm excited for them to come to this side because I think that their their programs are going to be bolstered by this too. And so, you know, seven years from now, we may look at the com those 12 and say, wow, you know, we passed by this league or that league. Yeah. And I it know. wouldn't surprise me at all if that happens. There aren't, there aren't many places that are putting 61,500 and filling it. Correct. And, and, you know, it's one thing to have a 61,500-seat stadium. It's another to have it full. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, just look right this past weekend. I mean, you don't want to judge everything on weekends of success because it can flip on you the next weekend, right? But, you know, I know this. The Big 12 institutions fill their stadiums, have robust environments, and it's exciting. We may not be in the greatest television markets, but it's an exciting product that's very sustainable. I know another league further to the West that's having a hard time filling and their winning. stadiums and winning. didn't win this past weekend <laughs> and also are struggling with their television market. Right. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, that's what I love about we've solidified, you know, especially our Western uh, front by um, doing what we're doing. 